left my vlog camera at home so I'm not really sure if the video quality on this is gonna be very good but welcome back to my channel welcome back to another vlog today I am doing a little craft and I'm really excited about it I watched a YouTube tutorial on how to make Christmas stockings out of like thick yarn. So I just drove over to Joanne Fabrics, which was 50 minutes away. It was quite the drive. We don't have one near us, but totally worth it because one, the yarn was on sale for $3 off and two, it was the, also like the last day for 20% off your total. Oops. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Let's try again. So I got this red and two of these whites and a kind of muted green color. Hopefully that's enough to make two stockings. It ought to be. Now I'm going to drive back home and get to it and I'm really excited about it. I hope I hope that they work okay. I wanted to preface this vlog by saying that I started filming it with an idea of how to make Christmas stockings. And while they did eventually turn out, my filming is all over the place. So this is what I ended up making. And I am like really, really happy with how it turned out. I finger knit it with um, just the like thick blanket yarn. And I actually ended up making uh, a green one too for my husband. I started over three times when I uh, first started trying to figure it out. And I was following somebody else's pattern and it didn't really work. So I ended up making my own pattern and I'm gonna include that so that it's specific to this exact yarn, which is the uh, Bernat blanket yarn. It's called Extra. The pattern that I was following, she used something that was twice as thick as this, so it just didn't work. But I was really happy with how this actually ended up turning out. I put a little hook on it. I think it looked really cute. And this is the first time I've ever tried this. The main thing is in the first half of this vlog, I'm following her pattern exactly. And I was pulling my stitches like really really loose so I would kind of go through and I would pull them out like really big like this and there would just be a lot of gaps so by the time I ended up finishing it it was gigantic and what I should have done is pulled it a lot tighter and I didn't realize that so um, that's what I ended up doing that came out really nicely so it's a little bit there's like a few little gaps but I mean it's plenty it's like plenty thick and the first time that I tried to do it it was just really really holy it was really sh stretched apart and it just looked really stupid so I'm gonna include my pattern um and maybe I'll like put it up on the screen right here you can follow this video actually like pretty well just I think I initially started out with 32 stitches and it worked out much better to start out with 24 but otherwise it's the same the same thing that I do in this video even though I started over like three times by the end of it. I'm really excited for Christmas and this was really fun to make. I loved just the idea of making my own stockings. I saw a bunch of knit ones at Target that I thought were really cute but I was like well I, uh, my husband thought that it would be really cute if I made them so I was like that's that's nice. So yeah Merry Christmas. Enjoy this video. Okay I just walked in the door and I'm going to get started. I'm like really excited about this. Tutorial that I'm following, this is the pattern that I'm using. I believe she is using yarn that is twice as thick as mine, so I'm actually gonna double whatever she says, but she's called Play Hooky with me. She just does 16 rows, then you do four rows of that have 16, and then you like loop one together on one end, go across, you loop one together on the other end, so now you're down to 14. You do that again, so then now you're down to 12, then you do that again, so now you're down to 10, and then the body is 14 rows of 10. So 
you're, you're making this shape. And then you switch over to the new color, eight or nine rows of the new color or something, and then you guess it off. So, um, and then you just fold it in half and I guess like sew around the edge. So, shouldn't be too difficult, I don't think. I'm just gonna kinda experiment. I think red and white striped would be really cute and then maybe I'll do the green one solid. So you start with a slip knot like this and then you will pull through again. So now you have two. Maybe I should do this a little closer. Pull through again. Oh, it keeps taking it out of focus. So what she's doing is 16, and I think because her yarn is twice as thick, I'm going to do 32. So that is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. I'm going to keep doing it and I'll be back. I have 32. We're just going back through each chain that you just made and looping that yarn back through it because you're just going to go back and forth, which I... I guess it's just like knitting without needles. If you continue to do that, it like pretty quickly already starts to form something. So this is only three rows. And according to the pattern, they're doing four rows at like 16 across and I'm doubling it. So I'm gonna do eight rows at 32 across and hopefully this is not gigantic. It might be a little big, but I think it could be cute, hopefully. This next part is not in the pattern, but I really wanted to do like a candy cane stripe. So I'm gonna go ahead and add white to this red. There's probably a proper way to to um, add a color, but I'm just gonna tie it in a knot. I'm gonna use the white and come back a row. It would probably be better if I was pulling this a little tighter, since this is a stocking and not a blanket, and it like might need to hold some weight to it. Cute. Now I'm going to start by decreasing the row, which I go like this to decrease on one side. And then I keep doing my loops. When I get to the end of this row, I'll decrease another one. And then I may go back to red. So what I've done here is I decreased again. And I, earlier I actually hadn't cut the two colors that I tied together. So I'm hoping this doesn't look bad, but this is where I had tied it. I did a row, came back, and then I just am bringing the red back up again. And I'm gonna do some and bring the white up. Now I'm going back through with the red and I'm going to continue to decrease. I'm at the end of the row and I have two loops left. So to decrease, I take the last loop, put it on top, I go over, and now I'm one row less and I bring the loop. So now what I've done is I decreased one on this side, came over, decreased one on this side, came up, decreased another one, came across, and decreased another one. So I started out with 32, and I should have 28 because I decreased two on each side. So now, time to decrease again. Take that outside loop, put it over, and then I'll do the same on the other end and that'll bring me down to 26. Okay, back at the other end, I have two loops left. I'm decreasing again on this side. So I pull the outer loop through to the inner one and then I finish the last stitch. What we're now seeing is the toe shape. 
And this is where I think it could be a little bit more um, open to interpretation how you want to do this. Like what shape you want the toe to have. But I want mine to be a little bit more defined. So I'm going to decrease one more time. So then I'll be inside here. And then that's when I'll start going up for the body. So the pattern that I'm following started with 16 like I said earlier. And then it brings the toe down and the body is 10 wide. So for me, I started at 32 and I want to bring the body down to be 20 wide. Um, so right now I have 24 chains. So what I'm going to do is decrease one more time on this side, go across, decrease one more time on this side, and then do the same thing for one more row. And then I'll start doing the body, which will just be straight up. Now that these two are about even, I'm going to add another white stripe and that will be going down, coming back, I'm <laughs> like halfway through and I just folded it in half to see what it'll look like. And it's huge, too huge. Like, I think it would be cute, but <laughs> this is the scale compared to my hand it's, and it's finished. It would literally be like three feet long tall if I like keep it in proportion to what it should look like. I'm thinking I overestimated doubling it because I, I just, I thought that this is how wide it would need to be, but maybe it is. And maybe if I had done tighter stitches it would work better. I don't know, I feel like it's goofy. Just FaceTimed my sister and I told her about my dilemma and she said that unfortunately I should unravel it all and start over. <sighs> oh well, so this is as far as I got, but I just did it all wrong. I did it, I just, I did it way too big. I did it way too loose. You can see how loose it is. So what I'm going to try to do is do somewhere in between this. This was like, you can't even see me. This was 32 across. The pattern called for 16, so I was doubling it. So what I'm going to do is 24. Just go somewhere in between. To pull it up. all of my hard work. At least I think I know what to do now. <sighs> so sad. All that hard work down the drain. So I'm starving. I might need to take a little break, go eat some lunch slash dinner. Try again. Okay, I had a snack. And I got some knitting needles. So, we're back, baby. We're trying again. Okay, we've changed tactics. And now I am knitting with knitting needles. It's the same, same concept, but the stitches are much tighter. And now I'm wondering, are they too tight? This yarn is like really hard to knit with. I've never knit with anything like this before. Maybe knitting isn't my thing. I just did 24 and this is way too small. The problem was with the other one that it was too big and now this one's too small. So I'm taking it out again. And I have an idea, maybe, on how I could make it work. Okay, I think what I should do instead. 24. So we'll... This yarn is just gonna not even be soft by the time I get done redoing this.
Not gonna lie, I messed up the other stocking like three times. Kept having to start over, but I did finish it. I have it hanging right here. I'll do a close up in a bit. But I'm making another one and I thought I would show this process. So I finished the green part and like opened up. It looks like that. And then I added on white to the end and then I turned it inside out. And then I'm just using some more of this same yarn to just like sew along this edge. And then I'll flip it inside out and then this will go on the top. But I'll do that right now. <laughs> And then I'm using a used white up here. And then I'm using green down here. And then I'll turn the whole thing inside out. Stitched up and tied it all off. So then and I'm saving this little white part because I'm going to use that. Hang it up. Just as needed. And then I made this white part extra long over. Cute. And then with that little piece that I cut off. Ta-da! And what they look like together. How cute! This is what the red one looks like up close. 